Games Grapple fans, it's Director of Fun Mike Quackenbush with action from our recent tour of the United Kingdom. Our gigantic King of Trios tournament is right around the corner, so I thought it might be appropriate to take a look at a scintillating six-person tag match, pitting Heidi Lovelace and NRG against Frightmare, Obarian, and Kodama. Very interesting trios action dead ahead, Mr. Remsburg. Our first look at the Batiri since, shall we say, falling under the influence, potentially, of Nazmal Dune? Yes, make it sound like a, a drug or a drink, and I, we, but we don't know much about it, but it sure certainly, is sinister. Yes, yes, the, the, the color scheme changing and, and, and the, the teaming with Frightmare, not something we would have expected out of the Batiri just three or four weeks ago, Mike. Mm -hmm. These are three of the smallest competitors on the roster, and I don't think I have to tell you, three of the most vicious. It's going to be really interesting to see how they match up against former Young Lions Cup champ Heidi Lovelace and our current Campeones and RG. Make no mistake about it right now, it's the biggest man in this match in the ring. Hype Rockwell is the powerhouse of his team. And what a difference a year makes, Mike. They've alluded to it in, in their interviews, but since we last saw NRG on these British shores, they were challenging for the Campiones, coming up short, but just a whole different team now. And the same can be said for Heidi. She's a, 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 a whole more wealth of experience, and they will have their work cut out for them with the, uh, oh. the small Pitbull-esque trio of Frightmare and the Batiri. Look at Frightmare stringing them together here. He might be the smallest guy in the whole match, and he does not take a back step in the Biggest guy, look at him, he's rocking Rockwell. No one ever told Frightmare he's the smallest guy in anything. He doesn't act like, he doesn't wrestle like it, and he is never deterred, no matter the size, weight of his opponents, as evident here with Hype Rockwell. Gotta be giving up 70 or 80 pounds, Mike. At the least. Wow, terrific high flying there from the Generator Race Jackson, a picturesque crossbody. And Enziguri finds the mark on Frightmare. He's rocked him. This is the first advantage the Technicos have really enjoyed in this entire match. It's been all Frightmare up until now. Nice teamwork by the NRG Loveless Trio. Mm -hmm. I believe they were on the same side of the fence back in a Jeffersonville, Indiana last fall, if I remember correctly, but very yeah. limited experience as, as a team. Right. This is at most their third time functioning as a unit. It's going to be interesting to see how they do. Also going to be interesting to see what kind of chemistry will we find between O'Barian and Kodama and Frightmare. Oh. Rapid right hands here from O'Barian, vicious as ever. Much like Frightmare, both members of the Batiri often nicely done. What impact! Often the smaller competitors, but they never act like it, they never wrestle like it. Every shot counts, and even in this these few seconds since O'Barian legally entered this match, you see not wasting any time. Every movement so crisp, so devastating, right in there on the generator. Charged into that back elbow. Now he charges into the turnbuckle. What's he thinking here? Positioning's like a backslide. Well, he's got him picked up almost like the gory special, but he was only able to maintain it for a second. Kodama came right down the apron and kicked him right in the mush. Wrong part of town for Race Jackson, although falling off the apron does allow a tag, allows a fresh Heidi Loveless to enter the fray legally. Wow. Just lighten him up with strike after strike is Heidi Lovelace. She will mix it up with anybody. Mixing it up right now with O'Barian, who is no... Oh, I was going to talk about his explosive offense. There, you just saw it on plane display. He cracked her right along the left side of her jaw. And she goes down in a heap. Handful of hair here as he leads her face first back into the wrong part of town. Heidi needs to get out of that corner, Bryce. In comes Kodama, wasting no time with his newfound aggression. Headbutts, gourd buster there, dead center of the ring. Oh man, right in the back. Yes. We've Come never seen Hushins. offense like this before out of Kodam. We're seeing a brand new side of the Batiri here. Not sure what happened when they left recently with Hollow Wicked, but the effects are on plain display in just the early couple minutes of this contest. See Heidi's drawing a couple deep breaths there, trying to get that wind back into her lungs, peel herself back up off the mat. Oh, she just met the boot laces of O'Barian for her troubles. It should be noted that ever resilient is this the spark plug, Heidi Lovelace. She takes a lick it and she keeps on ticking. It takes a lot to keep her down. Mm-hmm. Like a fine Swiss watch. Ah, yes. 
Frightmare. Yeah, he'll just walk right into dangerous territory. Frightmare does not care. What's that? Bigger guys? Stronger guys? I don't care. Frightmare jaw jack him. Good luck if anybody can understand what he's saying, though. Just accelerated all of his weight into the upper chest of Heidi Lovelace on type of the jackknife roll, but it wasn't enough to keep her shoulder blades down for three. Big disrespect towards the ring crew guys, setting up clearly with colors in the corner, tag ropes not being used at all. That red corner, blue corner thing is so 1979. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Johnny Kidd I said that. A little too high there of a lock for a gut wrench. I don't think that's what Frightmare wants here. He just wants to control Heidi. She's a sitting duck there for the kick of Obarian. Saw a handful of tights there by Kodama. Not that it was necessary, but keeping her exactly where they want her. And you see a lot of a lot of tag team matches, trios matches. The opposing squad often targets Heidi Loveless. Mm -hmm. she, they see the smaller competitor. They see maybe the the most easy to overtake competitor. But as time goes on, that's becoming more and more of a mistake. That's right. And I think Heidi probably trains for that. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you condition yourself specifically for certain roles, especially when you're in a team dynamic. And I wouldn't be the least bit surprised after a career of being put in these positions. Heidi trains specifically for this. Yep, yep, I'm sure she was the tackling dummy back at the School of Rock many, many a nights in Lafayette, Indiana, as she is right now for uh, Kodama, O'Berrien, and Frightmare at this moment. But like you said, takes that lick and keeps on ticking, takes a lot to keep her down. Mm -hmm. As I believe they are finding out at this very moment, Mike. Gonna start wearing Heidi down. She's got some really tremendous high impact offense, like her Heidi Khan Rana, like a tornado DDT. You need to wear her down. And this hold, unfortunately, is not getting it done. She's almost free of that predicament before Kodama stopped her cold. Oh, he's digging his teeth right into the top of her skull. Illegal and gross. Yes. Well, gross is certainly an adjective frequently applied to the Batiri. And in that moment, exceptionally appropriate, Heidi's trying to drag herself back to her vertical base, but here comes a fresh O'Barrian. Mm -hmm. She started moving in the right direction, in a way, but got sidetracked. Oh, wait a second. It's one of her favorites. Mm -hmm. Perfectly executed. She drives him face first into the turnbuckle. Here's her best opportunity to tag. She's got to get over to her corner. Ah, and they knew it. Frightmare and Kodama getting rid of NRG. Not allowing that to happen. But that corner attack by Heidi, such an excellent use of her surroundings. <laughs> it was a great way to make all of her body weight work for her. You could see her being a lighter weight competitor as a disadvantage. Oh, what a combo from Frightmare. Look at that. Standing moonsault press. Perfect execution. It was good for two. Sometimes we'll see the knees out of that. One of Frightmare's pet maneuvers, the knee collapse. But with that moonsault, he's a Immediately in a pinning position. Excuse me. Yeah, no wasted time, no wasted motion. We've talked about this new vicious streak in him, and that's emblematic of it. Oh, open handed slap to Heidi Lovelace. Oh, he lays that forearm right down the point of her jaw. Really rocked her there, Bryce. And she Heidi's comes coming back. back with a flurry. Mm -hmm. Throwing everything, including the kitchen sink. Up she goes. What's it going to be? Whoa. Wow, talk about pulling a sunset flip out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And here comes the tag. Here come the champs. Firing on him. Picking him up. Whoa. Whoa. Thunderous power slam in center ring. We've seen the generator fly. He's got a great missile drop kick. He picked up one Rudo with each foot. Two for the price of one, and in comes Heidi now. They ask her if she's ready. She says she's ready. A battering ram of swords with her feet. Look at that. Nicely Up. done. And around she goes. She just took Frightmare down. Some triple team offense here. Another excellent use. No, no wasted motion. Using every pound of Heidi Loveless. That, oh, there you see through the second and third torpedo. Look out. Don't be leaving your pints on the floor here. Whew. And now Heidi way up top! Taking him out on the far side as Hype Rockwell directs traffic from center ring. You gotta get somebody back in the ring now and pin him. Yes, pick whoever got the worst that. My money be on Frightmare, I believe. Heidi might not have had a good view of what went on there. Grace Jackson's heading up to the top rope as Hype Rockwell is poised to plant Kodama. <laughs> Big old moon landing. Elbow drop finds the mark. Could this be all? 
Oh, if not for O'Barry, and this one could be over. That's his normal partner, O'Barry and Kodama, perpetually just knowing where each other are at all times. Look at him go, Bryce. Oh! Devastating knee strike to the back of the skull. That's knockout territory. Yep, not pretty, but it didn't have to be. There's that tornado DDT you spoke of, Mike. Mm -hmm. what and great body control by Hyde. Wisely rolling out of the ring is O'Barry. Such a smart move there from the former Young Lions Cup champ, and we should just got out of the way of that. Unfortunately, she met the upturned boot of Frightmare, who now has her in a fireman's carry-like position for Go To Sleepy Hollow. Absolutely, make no doubt about it. Taught to him by <laughs> Hollow Wicked. Hope there's a good dentist open late in Birmingham tonight. Ugh. Race Jackson here, the interlock front chancery, looking for a suplex. No. Now it's Kodama, Alabama Slam oh, with authority. The back of his head just bouncing off the canvas. Wow, he barely brought the left shoulder up, Bryce. Just a lot enough. of damage done. Just enough to get that shoulder blade off the canvas. This one very, very close to being over. And Heidi now not backing down, not wasting any time, getting right back in here and hammering away. Oh, yeah, you can feel it now. One mistake, one errant move, and this one could be over. And I don't like Heidi's odds right now. Trapped in the ring with these three pit bulls. Mm -hmm. Who on earth could survive this kind of onslaught? And yet here's Heidi Lovelace making it work. <laughs> Headbutt to Frightmare. She is gutsy, I gotta give her that. Look at that combination, a skull bronzing of sorts with a kick to the back of the head at the same time. Woo! Some amateur style there out of Hype Rockwell. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Making sure that the cover was broken. Didn't you just want to like bump, him, bump into it? Wanted to make sure he was totally taken off of Heidi and this one continuing this evening in Birmingham took that waist lock and used it to help free Heidi from being underneath the weight of her opponent. Heidi did the, what she got here. We saw her use this one earlier. Oh, they were ready for it. She's been caught now. Electric chair positioning here. She's trying to pound on the top of Kodama's dome. I don't know if that had enough behind it. What's she thinking here? Reverse Frankensteiner? No. <laughs> Good night. Who on earth is gonna get up from that place? Oh, she could be knocked out. This might not oh. even matter. Well, the knee collapse was really just the cherry on top of that Sunday. A devastating move from the Batiri in Birmingham leads to a big, big victory for this newly minted trio. And